Here is the apple cider vinegar shampoo recipe. You need apple cider vinegar, water, a spray bottle, and a funnel. And you're gonna do one part apple cider vinegar to four parts water. It's that simple, guys. Then you're gonna spray this on your body and your hair in the shower. It's good for toning skin. It has so many amazing benefits. Follow along with me. I'm going to take you on my journey of switching over to this amazing product. Hey beautiful people and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So there's a trend going on on TikTok using apple cider vinegar replacement of your shampoo. You use apple cider vinegar on your hair instead of using shampoo. And what do you guys think? Do you think apple cider vinegar can replace shampoo? That means you're not going to be washing your hair with any form of shampoo or conditioner at all. It's going to be apple cider vinegar. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a good trend? Do you think this is going to work? Some people are debunking it. Why some people are actually accepting that it's working for them. I want to know what you guys think. But before you tell me what you think, kindly wait and see how people are using it and how their hair looks like after using it. So, yeah. I have been convinced to do the apple cider vinegar as shampoo for my hair and I have not seen it on really curly hair so we're gonna do it for 30 days. I have done plenty apple cider vinegar rinses on my hair but I still use my own shampoo and conditioner so I'm interested to see just using this. Honestly, I might not even last one day because how am I supposed to use just this and no conditioner? I have really curly hair but it's like terribly blown out right now. I need oils and conditioners and everything in my hair to keep it defined, curly, or smooth when it's straight. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and try this. Come back with my thoughts. Saying a very silent prayer, please work for me, please. Before I even blow dry, look at the definition of these curls. I've not brushed it, I just finger combed it in the shower. Um, and it's not super tangled. If I just were to shampoo my hair, my hair would never look like this. It would, what sorcery is this? Running out of time, go to part two, and hopefully this blowout looks good. Part two of using apple cider vinegar shampoo on my hair. I just washed it, there's nothing else in it. I'm gonna blow dry it with no other product. And this is the scariest part for me because I'm gonna blow dry this, what? This is my hair blow dried just with a paddle brush. And she's soft, like there's no product in here. I am gonna go curl it now, but I want to understand what is this sorcery. Like, you can already see the shine. It's frizzy, but the shine? And this is my hair curled, okay? It is not dry. But my one question is, how is this gonna last throughout the week? Will my scalp get oily? Great news, guys. Uh, the cosmetologists in the comments fully approve us going 30 days with no shampoo. So we are going 30 days with no shampoo and replacing it with apple cider vinegar. And the only thing that they said is that the ACV has to be the type with the mothers in it. So I got in my car, I drove through a freaking blizzard, and now we're gonna go in the store and find some. Leave it up to TikTok to get me out of the house into a blizzard for stinky apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Okay, I should have worn a hat, but whatever. I got it. I got the big one since we're committed, but obviously it comes in all different types of sizes. So if you So we are going 30 days with no shampoo and replacing it with apple cider vinegar. Oh, the apple cider vinegar enthusiasm. People think apple cider vinegar is like the cure-all for everything. You've got a flat tire, fill her up with apple cider vinegar. When it comes to the scalp, yes, apple cider vinegar actually does have antimicrobial properties, which may help in theory with things like a little yeast that lives up there and causes problems. However, the issue with going 30 days without shampooing your scalp is that you're not gonna adequately be removing the buildup of sebum, dead skin cells, pollutants, product residue, there are no surfactants in apple cider vinegar to do that for you. And so you can get a buildup that can contribute to itch, flakiness, dandruff, seborrhea. My FYP, everybody's talking about apple cider vinegar and how amazing it is. And people are switching out their shampoo for apple cider vinegar. They're washing their bodies with it. They're literally doing everything with apple cider vinegar. So 
of course I had to give it a try. Um, so I washed my hair with it today. Fridays are my hair washing day. Um, and I normally been using the Chi keratin stuff. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try. So I mixed myself up a spray bottle. I put half water, half apple cider vinegar, and I filtered all the way to the top. So I only used like that much to wash my hair. And so I got in the shower, fully saturated my hair, and then just started spraying this all over my scalp. And then I used one of those scalp um, scrubber thingies that I ordered off Amazon and just like really, really scrubbed my scalp. And then I, I feel like I can't not use conditioner. So I got this stuff. It is the Shea Moisture. This actually has apple cider vinegar in it. It's a strengthen and restore, restore conditioner. Now I will say, um, as there's no, absolutely no lather to using this. So it, it doesn't feel like your hair is getting clean, but once you rinse it out, it feels, I can't explain it. You, you just have to try it. But anyways, when I got out of the shower and I was styling my hair, I noticed it does feel greasy, which is weird because when I went to wash my hair, my hair was not greasy feeling. So I think I don't need to use conditioner. I think this is what made my hair feel greasy. So after I styled it, I did have to spray some dry shampoo in it to get it to look like this because it was kind of stringy because there was a little bit too much oil in there. But my scalp feels amazing. It feels clean. Um, it actually doesn't itch. Normally when I shampoo my hair and then get out of the shower, like my scalp just itches. So I just gotta scratch it. Um, doesn't itch. And there's absolutely no smell to it. You do not smell vinegar. There's just no smell to my hair. It just smells like me, I guess. Um, that's another thing I was, I was like, man, I just, I love the smell of shampoo and conditioner. Like that's the reason why I use it. I want my hair to smell like that. But in all reality, the smell doesn't last that long anyways, if you're only washing your hair once a week. So I, I recommend getting maybe like a fragrance. This is for hair. I love this stuff. It's Amiga um, hair fragrance. It smells amazing. So if you really want your hair to smell like something, you know, just give your hair a few squirts of that. But anyways, I thought I would share because I'm going to keep on testing this out and let you guys know how it goes. It's supposed to help with like hair loss. And if you guys know, my hair falls out like crazy. You've seen my hair raking carpet videos. So yeah, um, I'm going to keep an eye on how much hair loss I have each time I use this. It's going to be, I'll give another update in about a month. Um, so that'll be four washes total. But yeah, I just wanted to share. Okay, so I wanted to do an update video for you guys. So, um, to answer this, yes, I am still using, um, only apple cider vinegar as, um, shampoo. Um, I got a ton of questions on my original post, so I just wanted to answer, like, them here. I answered some things in the comments, but just so you guys have, like, a overall view of everything I've experienced in the last, like, three month, three-ish months that I've been doing this. So, um, yeah. So one question I got was, um, do I, do I use conditioner? Um, with apple cider vinegar, whenever you first start using it, your hair, um, your hair adjusts and it feels super weird. Um, it, it's just like anything that whenever you start going from, uh, you know, um, synthetic things to natural things, you know, your body has to detox from it. So you, your hair feels really weird in the beginning. Um, after you do a couple washes, um, I think by the third wash, I started seeing the major difference in my hair, um, where my hair felt lighter and, um, not greasy or anything like that. And, um, cause the first couple times it kind of just felt weird, maybe greasy, like, um, just didn't feel right, but I just stuck with it and trusted the process. Um, after my hair adjusted and everything, my hair was voluminous. I did not have to use any conditioner. Um, and all of that, but mind you, everybody's hair is going to be different. I've always had very thick hair and I've always had very oily hair and very healthy hair because I don't, um, dye it. Um, I only dye the fronts now, um, that I'm older, but, um, and I do that maybe twice a year. So I don't put, um, a whole lot of heat on my hair or anything like that. So I've just had really, really healthy hair, um, due to good genetics and taking good care of it. So keep in mind, the natural route may not work for necessarily everybody. Now, if you have super dry hair, you may want to oil the ends of your hair. Um, it's completely up to you um, and what kind of oil you would want to use. Um, but you would definitely only do the very ends. You would not do it through the whole head or else you're going to have a very greasy head. I also got the question on how often I wash my hair. I wash my hair uh, once a week unless I am um, doing you know, exercising or doing something where I'm sweating outside and my, and my head just feels dirty, um, then I'll wash my hair or, you know, if I'm around a fire or anything like that. 
when you wash it, um, what I do first is I take my bottle, which is, you know, 50-50 water and apple cider vinegar, and I spray my head down first and damp my whole head, um, scrub it into my scalp, rinse it out, and if my hair still feels like I have extra buildup in it, if I've used a lot of hairspray or something, then I will um, then spray my head again, let it sit, do the same thing, and then rinse it out. And the last question I got was, did the lesions that I was getting in my head go away? Yes. Yes, they did. Finally, after two to three months of doing it. So the thing is, I've not actually seen this trend on a black person, probably a natural, at least a hair kind of person, like your natural hair, non-relaxed hair, fussy hair and all of that. I've not seen someone try it. So I really don't know if it's going to work for fussy hair, relaxed hair or um, virgin hair if that makes sense but then i really think this um I, I think apple cider vinegar personally apple cider vinegar is something that works for almost everything especially if you dilute it with water so then what do you guys think about this trend do you think it's gonna work for us so yeah the only video that i saw that a black person was using this apple cider vinegar make sure was just to wash off our dreadlocks so it's not really to just you know try this trend so then again how do you guys think, feel like about this trend do you think it's going to work for us do you think it's actually a good thing i personally feel like apple cider vinegar works for everything like it's one of the best things to do to your skin and again people use it on their skin as well they are spraying that mixture on the skin for glowing and healthy skin let me know what you guys think about this